Hello crafty fans! Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to show you how to make a drawstring pajama bottoms. So as you can see here, I already pre-cut my fabric. I just used an existing pajama bottoms as my pattern. Because I am using a woven fabric, I decided to add about 2 inches allowance as you can see here. I also made it a little longer because this pajama bottoms is actually 40 and I'm trying to make a bigger one for my daughter. I'm going to cut out the fabric using the first piece as my template. Here I'm just marking the side which is going to be the front and the back. And then on the back, I am going to trim up just a little bit of fabric to compensate for the curve of the back side. And here I match the back pieces and I'm going to trim it off all together. This part is optional but I decided to add some details on the pajama bottoms. I'm using a quarter inch wide bias tape. And then I'm going to top stitch it on the right side of the fabric. Now I fold the fabrics like this, right sides are facing. And then I'm just going to sew the inseam using about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I also trim off the excess bias tapes. Now it's time to sew the two panels together. First, I'm going to put the inseam just like this right in the middle. And then I'm going to turn the other piece right side out. And I'm just going to put it inside just like this. I'm going to match the crotch seams and I'm going to pin it around and I'm going to sew it like this. And I'm going to sew it from here to the other end, almost like a U shape. Now it's time to make a casing for the elastic. The elastic should be a little shorter than the waistline, just like this. I'm going to fold in about a quarter of an inch and then I will fold it again just like this to hide the raw edges. And be sure that the elastic will fit in the casing. And don't forget to leave about 2 inches wide opening so you can feed the elastic inside the casing. Now let's move on to the drawstring tutorial. First I'm going to double fold it. And I'm going to sew it all the way around to hide the raw edges. And now it's time to sew a casing for the drawstring. I'm using a 1 inch wide uh, bias tape. Uh, you can use uh, the same material if you like but I just thought it will match the trim perfectly. And then I went ahead and top stitch it. Be sure that the ends are open so you can feed the string through the casing. Using the same bias tape as a drawstring, so I'm just going to fit it through the casing just like this. I'm 
Be sure that the string is long enough so you can tie it in a bow. Now all I have to do is finish the hemlines and the pajama bottoms are done. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this simple tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday and Friday. I will see you in my next video. Bye!